vertical axis wind turbines, also known as cyclo turbines. This video is for those wanting to understand the simple benefits of Vertigen's variable pitch blade system versus a fixed pitch blade. So why is a variable pitch better than a fixed pitch? Many wind turbines use a shaped blade or aerofoil similar to an aircraft wing in flight. The airflow meeting the wing-shaped blades at a near optimum angle is the key to the efficiency and power of any turbine. This creates the lift. This same lift keeping the aeroplane up creates the drive on the blades and the rotation of the wind turbine. Too steep an angle causes the air to separate from the wing and cause turbulence and a drag or braking force. In aircraft this would result naturally in reduced lift or very little and it falling out of the sky, or wind turbines being very inefficient or stopping. So having a variable pitch of the wing shaped blades improves efficiency over a fixed blade system and starting in a light breeze or low wind speed, because all blades are adjusted for best possible angle for power and efficiency. How can we see this difference? Using computational fluid dynamics, the science that engineers use to predict fluid or airflow over given objects. The fixed blade system on the left is less efficient as lift is created by only one or two blades meeting the wind flow at the better angle and slowed by a braking turbulence generated from the remaining blades meeting the air at a worse angle. The other blades also suffer from this mixed up air the result is limited output from the available wind energy. The variable pitch system shows lift from more than two blades and less drag from the other blades, which translates into a higher level of wind energy absorption and output in the form of power or mechanical drive energy. The general issues for vertical wind turbine technology applications are Starting in low wind speed, a light breeze, usually around 1 meter to 3 meters per second. The variable pitch allows the turbine to start in lower wind speeds and higher RPM can be obtained due to lower drag or stall effect on the blades. Efficiency, the ability of the unit to maximize the amount of wind energy collected crossing the wind turbine. High wind operation, working in near gale force or higher wind speeds, usually around 20 meters per second plus, maintaining a controlled and smooth RPM speed at these high wind speeds. The future, world applications. With the Vertigen variable pitch VAWT, a smaller sized turbine could be used, making a portable version. Also, the characteristics of the power curve should generate more torque at a lower RPM, which can make it more suitable for other applications, such as driving pumps and machinery. One of the key aspects to wind turbines generally is the perceived noise that it produces. Variable pitch units tend to be quieter and deliver more power because of the fact that the leading edge of each blade is moving to cut into the air at a better angle of approach. Also the remaining blades have reduced wind drag effect because of their pitch and this combination provides for a less confused or turbulent air pattern within and around the turbine unit as a whole. Performance difference between fixed and variable pitch. Variable pitch, vertical VAWT types are very rare at the moment. Many fail to consider that the variable system allows the Vertigen turbine to work for much longer periods over a wider range of wind speeds, while the fixed blade systems are motionless in low wind speeds. The current industry tends to measure turbine output at given wind speeds in a short time period. For variable pitch VAWT turbines, they would need to consider performance over a much longer period and in fluctuating wind conditions. We suspect the overall performance increase seen will be dramatic. The variable pitch can produce more torque throughout the RPM range. If you examine the basic graph here which shows output from the two types, you will notice the variable pitch in blue outperforms the fixed system in red at every level, which is further proof of increased performance. In the next few months, we will present some data from a live system, which will give us some real meaningful information and be likely to confirm the simulation calculations are correct. 
We hope this presentation has helped you to understand more about vertical wind turbines and how we can improve and increase this new technology for the future. Hopefully you will see more vertical wind turbines in operation globally as they become more efficient. Studies from Harvard University have proven they can be 10 times more effective in a given space within wind farms if a variable system could be designed and produced compared with normal horizontal designs which you see presently.